Hello Wolfpack, Stephen Bennett here in the NCSU Weather Center. I hope everyone's making it out all right in this icy morning we're having. In fact, that's one of our headlines for today. Ice will be our main story for today, and then cold air moving into the area will pretty much be our headline throughout the rest of the week, along with some clearing skies, but let's focus on the factors for today. Right now, from the looking at our surface analysis from the pretty much current in the past few hours, we had this round of sleet and freezing rain really move through the Raleigh area, and that's what's created all the ice you're seeing around this morning. And as we get throughout the rest of the day, temperatures will not warm up too much at all either, helping that ice to stick around. So uh, on your commute this morning, 9 a.m., 27 degrees. Again, we still have that chance for maybe a few more rounds of sleet or freezing rain. Uh, those chances will lower, though, as we go into noontime, where temperatures only warm up to around 31 degrees. And as we go into the afternoon, temperatures barely break the freezing mark where they will reach 33 degrees. So again, like I said, I should be able to stick around if we get enough of it, and temperatures can stay very low throughout the day today. So for tonight, a low of around 24 degrees, partly cloudy skies, cold in general with winds out of the northwest from 5 to 10 miles an hour. And then if we take a look at our setup for tomorrow, all that moisture that we see that brought us that uh, sleet and freezing rain has moved off. But we had this another really cold, cold front pushing through our area, and that's even going to bring some of this moisture with it. And we have a slim chance for maybe a snow flurry or two tomorrow as we go into Wednesday. So definitely keep an eye out for that. I don't think it'll be anything major, but enough to just add a little dusting on top of any ice that will stick around into Wednesday. So for tomorrow, high of around 33 degrees. Again, temperatures reaching just above the freezing mark. Cloudy skies, cold temperatures in general with winds out of the north again. And then tomorrow night, that's when that cold air really hits in, a low of around 8 degrees. So if at all, at all possible, do not go out uh, Wednesday night because it will be very cold and you can actually suffer some health risks such as frostbite if you're out too long in weather like this. Winds out of the northwest from 5 to 10 miles an hour. So again, uh, cold air is going to be coming from the north and just reinforcing the cold air that's already in place. So really be careful today and tomorrow and pretty much throughout the rest of the week because we will have very cold temperatures that we're not used to seeing around here or at least haven't seen so far this winter. So if we look at our overall week, 20% chance of precipitation as this morning on Tuesday. Going into Wednesday again, a small chance for maybe a snow flurry or two. As we go into Wednesday, high of around 34 degrees. Thursday, temperatures start sinking down rapidly. Uh, high of around 22, low of around 6 degrees. Friday, high of 27. And then on Saturday, a high of around 41 degrees. Things warm up a little bit. But then again, the models are even calling for variability this weekend. So definitely keep an eye on NCSU weather, and we'll keep you updated for any weather that will happen this weekend as well. I'm Stephen Bennett here in the NCSU uh, Weather Center, and go Pack.